This is a HeadGum Podcast. Whatever you're up to, you're not sly. I'm not trying to be you're sly. All I'm red trying to be cute. All right, action. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back to the show. I just said to Gareth, whatever you're up to, you're not sly. And I just said, Jake, I I'm not, love no, you. No, you said I'm not trying to be sly. I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another great episode today. Yeah. And it's another Flying Solo. Just J and G. I like it. I do too. We love the guests. We love having people over, but let's be honest. We're also a domesticated married couple, and it's nice Agreed. for us to just have some Agreed. some QT with each other. Agreed. And it's you know what also what it is because we're both big talkers. Yeah. It's nice to have just more time because you know what I really love about this show after now doing around 60 of them? Yeah. More because we have about 30 that we haven't released. Doing about 100 of these so far, which is shocking. Crazy. Is Did you think when I no. <laughs> pitched you this idea that you'd ever say we have 100 coming? No. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to do it. I didn't think I was going to like it after 10. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing these. I'm viewing these as a six-month lease. Yeah. I'm leasing to buy. Yep. Uh, but it's still really fun. And I think the game that's still really fun, apart from honestly really enjoying spending time with you. Oh, Jake. Uh, getting to know the Kev man. Yeah. Uh, is the callers are really fun. So having the guests, yes. guests are really fun because you get to have like the Jillian Bell come on and cry. All these yep. different people, you get reminded how funny they are. Darcy Carton, and all yep. these people come in. But the real fun for me is humans are s reminding me are so weird. So weird. And when they're real about their problem, yeah. it is so funny. I think for us too, it's like the amount of things that we're like, can't believe, you know, it's like you can't yes. believe you're still like, what is going on? Yes. And when they- Like the cat yeah. earwax oh, one. Shocking. Like that to me was like, this shocking. will never end. Yes. But also, and you, we say this off air, but we're always shocked that every once in a while, mostly you will have an idea that you'll look at me as you're pitching and it'll be the, this is the bad idea. Then when they take the bad idea and it works for them. Oh, that's the craziest. It's insane. When we're both going, yeah, not this one. And they're like, I think I'm yeah, going to I, kick I, the door down. I think I like fire for fire. Yeah, I think I like fire for fire a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I will say it is getting, it's good to know Kevin as well. Does he follow you on Instagram? I don't think so. Yeah, he does. Don't follow a lot of people on the ground. Hold on, Jake, hold on. Right? Kevin, do you follow me on Instagram? I don't follow, follow either of you or the show. You don't? That, what is it? What's going on with you, buddy? I'm a low follower. Well, but we're all want to, we all want to keep of the what countdown. Is, what it, is it now? Is it that? Is it the optics of who you're following, or you just have no interest? No, in the I just try to. Or? It helps me uh, stay off the Instagrams as much. Hey, I just followed my sisters this year. Big year for them. I follow your sisters. Um, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 well, uh, I follow you, Kevin, and Jake follows you too. And we thanks, really, guys. We love being in your world, buddy. We'd love to have you in ours whenever you're ready. We'll see. Okay. Kevin, when are you getting married? In a month. Wow. And Jake, he, are you going? Uh, I haven't been invited. Yeah. Jeez, that's going to be awkward when it's just me on Instagram. at the big table, huh? Did you get, it? Did you get the invite? Yeah. I'm speaking at the thing, bro. <laughs> you fucking snake. <laughs> no, he didn't invite me. Garris DJing. <laughs> yeah, I'm DJing. <laughs> I'm catering. <laughs> Do you want- If what? you went back to your waiting days. You know what? You used to cater, right? No, yeah. not wedding. Oh, okay. No. You would have been a great, we would have been great oh, cater yeah. brothers. I would have murdered it. Uh, what if Gareth and I catered it together? Uh, <laughs> come on. If Kevin's doing Let's the do laugh it. where he's trying to think of how to answer You know what? Yeah. Let's stop wasting people's time. Let's yeah. get to the goddamn callers without uh, further ado. Hello? All right, here we go. And we are rolling. How are you? Good, thank you. Sorry right. about that. That's okay. We're definitely going to blame I, you for I whatever say, technical issues. We know issues. it wasn't you, my guy. We're, it is. We're going to put okay. it on you. Um, we're in a new studio. Yeah, we're in a new studio. Uh, it's Gareth studio. is in a new vest. Uh, listen, it's the old vest. Uh, what is your name? First of all, welcome to uh, We're Here to Help, America's Number One Podcast. What is your name, uh, age roughly, where are you calling from? And then we'll get into it. Sure thing. My name's Connor. I'm 24, and I am in Florida right now. 24 what part Florida. of Florida? Uh, Southwest Florida, Beautiful. Northport. Yeah. Beautiful. Northport. Can you imagine being 24 again, Jake? Yeah, I feel it. Okay, that's my vibe is 24. Never, never Your vibe is mannequin like, and a Ross a... dress for less. All right, Connor. What? Uh, unfortunately, Jake... you look like an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> Jake is murdering me over what would just be considered a lovely outfit. No, Connor, I look good. Connor... Someone has to step up the fashion on the show. Do I have to raise my L hand. Look to talk? at you. What year are those New Balances from? Yeah. Be honest. 
How many characters have you played that wore those shoes? Seven. <laughs> Can I raise my hand? Yes, Jake Johnson. Uh, we're here to help press. Uh, uh, Connor, he just started dressing up for the cameras because we're on YouTube. I've right? always been, Connor, I always, oh, okay. Jake, Connor, don't listen to Jake. This is what Jake does. What has happened? A lot of words, I've Connor. always, <laughs> I've always, a lot of talk. cheeks are getting red. I've always <laughs> heard in the outfit because you have earthy tones. I've always, <laughs> I've always been a fashion icon, and I'm just continuing that today. So, Connor, what is the problem? I have the problem. Uh, go ahead, Connor. What's your problem? I, I, your problem is, is your face is too red for your earthy outfit. Connor, go ahead whenever you're ready. What can we do to help you, buddy? <laughs> okay. So my problem is, I gotta so go hunting I recently soon. Go ahead, Connor. What's going on? Yeah. Sorry. Hunting for a new vest. I recently got an internship down here in Florida. Great. Okay. So I needed to find some quick housing, and I found a nice cheap one. It was Airbnb, but it's one of those ones where you share it with other renters. So, like, I have a room, but we share a common okay. area. Okay, so, you, so you're just rent, you're renting a room. Like a dorm, almost. I'm renting a room We've on, all done a, it. on Airbnb. Sure. Okay. I didn't realize Airbnb did I'd, that. They're doing everything. Yeah, I okay. don't know. They're fancy these days. Respect. So but rather than going through, okay, so you're renting a room through Airbnb, you got an internship, you're in a room, okay, you're yeah. back. So my roommates, <laughs> they're very nice people. They are senior citizens. They each have their <laughs> company, different ways of life. That's incredible, they're Connor. They're senior citizens. This is great. Wait, quick question yes. about your group. Uh, how many people? How old? What are the? Yeah, uh, what's gender? the range? And I'm gonna tell you why, because I'm gonna steal it and I'm gonna sell it to I NBC. I swear baby. to God, <laughs> this is a head, TV show. In my Connor. head, in my head, I was like, keep this in the back <laughs> pocket. So eventually, Connor, <laughs> we might use this, and guess what? You'll get a chunk of change too, baby boy. I wouldn't go That's chunk. I wouldn't go as far for. as chunk. <laughs> Define, be, uh, okay. uh, lawyer, please define a, chunk. A shred. Yeah. Eight dollars is a chunk. A morsel. So, Connor, what are your roommate <laughs> situations? One, I'll give you, they're Roger and Cindy. <laughs> they're both in their 60s. I love this. Okay. And uh, Are they a couple? Yeah. yeah. So they're both in their 60s. Are, are they together? No, they're okay. not together. Okay. Oh, all individuals. So, you got Rod, you got Cindy. We have each individual room. Respect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, anyway... <laughs> In oh, our so, room there. Oh, it's the three of you. Um, you got Roger, you got Cindy, you got Connor. I can't. I'm very excited for the problem because yeah. yeah. my mind well, is. But by the way, if there's no problem, this is just a setup. Yeah. I'm into talking about it. <laughs> We're here to help <laughs> okay. just discuss before the next call. Yeah. What's going on with Roger well, This is our Cindy. side podcast. We're here to gossip. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're here to gab <laughs> yeah. about Roger and Cindy. <laughs> yeah. Think, hey, yeah. really quick, Connor. Is there any vibage between Roger and Cindy? <laughs> Come on. Um, I'm going to tell you what. Cindy stays to herself. Okay. She keeps of course to she herself. Does. I've seen her twice in my time I've been here. Oh, wow. So what is, like so what's Cindy's kind of story is like, what does she do for work? Do you know? Cindy, she's visiting some family down here. Respect. And she's from the Midwest. So she has a Midwest accent. Love Cindy. But oh, she just that. usually keeps to herself. And wow. she stays in her room she for much of the time. And yeah. I got a feeling Roger's the dog. He's barking in everyone's business. <laughs> yeah. Is that true, Connor? <laughs> what's Roger doing? <laughs> so Roger... Yeah, he is the chatterbox oh. of the house. Yeah, he's the dog. He is. He's very talkative. He likes to be out and about. So and Roger is basically me and Gareth. Yeah. Won't shut up. Yeah, just always down for a fat chew, yeah. hanging out at the kitchen island. I'll tell you what this show needs, Connor, is a fucking is Cindy. Kind of narrating everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, more eggs, huh? Oh, another vest? Another, another vest? Cough. Okay, we're really getting vest heavy on this. Kevin, we're going to have to do a vest pass in editing. I, I agree. Take it off. No, come on. <laughs> you can't oh, do that listen in to Jake. Listen to Jake. Wanting less layers. Classic. Classic Roger. So you've got uh, <laughs> Roger talks all the time. Cindy's quiet. Connor, what's your vibe in the house? My vibe is I come in and Roger's there. So this is where the problem is. <laughs> if I, okay. if I Roger, he has started to secretly claim the common area for uh, himself. Nightmare. Uh, he and- has completely taken it over. <laughs> Whether and, that's him, yeah, I like get it. doing laundry out Aww. there in the common room where it's not near his room, <laughs> he might be watching TikToks full volume, taking phone calls on TikToks. speaker while we're out it. there. Roger is acting he, um, like it's his home and he's the dad. Oh, oh absolutely. So dad doesn't he's wear a shirt in his goddamn too. living no, room. No, I. Oh, I get man. this. Okay. So okay. So in the common room, we have the laundry. Do we have a TV? No, no, not the laundry. His laundry. He's just there. Is it. not a TV in this common room. So okay. he's blasting just... his phone. Kitchen is in yeah, the common area, obviously. Yeah. 
Yeah, the common area. We got the kitchen, all that stuff. Yeah. He's right there. All right, so Connor, he this claims is... the couch for himself. So, so this is good stuff. So, so got... Rogers pissed on that area if he's yeah. the dog. Okay. So Rogers in the center. <laughs> your vibe, which I like how you describe yourself, is you're just coming home and Rogers claiming the center. Hey, I was work. Yeah. Is, is is that similar to what's happening? I is... bought some hummus and carrots. If you want to have any of those with me, Connor. It's funny you guys said like he's the dog because he's got this little 14-year-old dog as well mm. that loves to just yap around, and ah. I'm pretty sure that dog's leaked a little bit here sure. and there. I think Roger has, too. What's the dog's name? The dog's name is Millie. It's one of those sure. tiny white ones. I got to say, one dogs. second, one second, I added a dog named Millie. I got a little uh, connection. Oh, uh, you've broken through, chicks. <laughs> you probably heart. met Millie because it was in the Rowena apartment. Oh, yeah. That right. little uh, yes. beagle. Yep. Look at us. A little baby. Okay, so keep going, Connor. Walk us through. So wonderful setup. Uh, I'm liking everything Thank about you. this. I wish there were little cameras hidden around your apartment uh, so I could just watch. We could, this would be my we favorite could make it show. Happen. Yeah. This would be my favorite show. So what's the problem? I'm trying to win the common room back. Fuck yeah. Because yeah. Roger, he as being a chatterbox, I'll go in there and he's in the common room whenever I arrive, whenever I leave. He's always there. So okay. I've tried to wait him out before. He you can't me. wait out an old time guy. I, yeah. There's one thing you're You'd not going to beat a 60 year old man, up. Connor. He stays up. Connor, I'm going <laughs> to tell you. Yeah. Connor, I'm going to tell you this as a 45 year old man and you're a 24 year old. You get more stubborn every five years. And more desperate for interaction. Like a lot of this is probably coming from Roger really wanting to hang out with you. Interesting. I uh, wouldn't see that. Do you do you do you feel like he's like pining for your friendship a little bit, Connor, right. or is he just a lunatic hanging out? He's just claiming space. You don't know him. No, I felt you guys might say this, you know, as because I do. I have felt that, you know, at times he can be looking for. We're just chatting. Cindy, she keeps to herself, so he doesn't have a Cindy to talk to. Right. And so it's him and I. But he's also started doing this pet peeve lately. Yeah. And this is Marty, mostly why I had to call in because I needed to change something. Okay. And that is whenever we're in talk and conversing, he'll start pointing. And mm-hmm. what I mean by that is he points and then he asks you a question about what he just said. So whether he's in the middle of a conversation, <laughs> yeah, this is what I thought. And it's then not he'll be like, and you know who showed up? And then he points at me asking me to guess who showed up. Yeah. So this is more my so thought. I don't on know him. who showed up. He's kind of mad. He wants you to mad lib with him, basically. You fill in the yeah, specific yeah, totally. with a point. But he also wants to make sure that you're listening, that you're staying focused, that you're paying attention to him. And I'm going to tell you why. Because it's his okay. space. So as oh, what happens to men, in my opinion, and possibly women, but I will just say men for sure, is as we get older, everything becomes World War One, And that, that is, there's a line in the sand, okay. and you go, I'd rather die of 10 infections then move one inch backwards. Yeah, right. I'd rather rats <laughs> eat me out from every hole in my body than give you motherfuckers one inch. And that's what's happening. <laughs> right. He said, he and Cindy are fine. And he goes, who the fuck is this brat? And this brat's <laughs> coming in my space. So I'm going to tell you a story, Connor. Hey, Connor, what's my name right now? Yep. Pointing at you. My name is Jake. You got to say it faster. You see what he just what I just okay. did there? I rogered you. I took control. I dominated you. <laughs> yeah, so, he's dominating you, Connor. Go I got, I got my first pitch, thing. Connor. I okay. got my first pitch. <laughs> Am okay. I too early to pitch? Do you have more info? That, no, that's basically the whole gist of it. So yeah. you want to stop? He wants to take over the space. You want to take the space back, and and Roger has the 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 pointing oddity. Okay, go ahead. So I got my first. He has a stronghold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's when it's World War One, and right now he's got the territory you want. Yeah. So my pitch is going to be called. You got a Roger, Roger. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So you've got to Roger, Roger. What I mean by that is you're in the space earlier than him. You're telling stories, pointing at him. You do an impression of Roger to Roger. Where he likes to be on the couch, you get there first. You're doing your laundry. So Roger has to deal with Roger. So guess what? You can't win in a war if they're fighting exactly the same as you. And that might make him go like, holy fire shit. Fire with fire. Roger with Roger. Roger with Roger. I, I like okay. that a lot. I think that's... I, I, def, I My fear yes. would be that Roger is going to re I mean like it you what the, y- yes and that you will find now that you're like Jesus Christ Roger has like sucked you into yes his world but guess what Connor might like it 
You might. I, let me ask you this, Connor. What uh, what do you have? Like, do you like your room? Because, like, I got to be honest. I, I definitely like uh, what Cindy's approach. <laughs> Cindy's yeah, picked I would, up yeah. on Roger. Cindy's like, <laughs> Roger's out of his mind. I yeah, want no part okay. in this. I'm going to make my room the common space for me. And I'm going to just yes, sit in because here. Because Cindy's normal. You know who Connor is? Roger Jr. Yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. And I say that with oh love. My. I oh say my. that with That's love, Connor. That's a diagnosis more Connor, than a point. Connor, I say that with love because guess what? I'm Roger Jr. You have Roger Jr. <laughs> well, and we all yeah. become Roger Jr. And so you is ever go to the gym? It, you, like, Remember when you go to the gym, there's always like an old guy who's hanging out there and he wants to talk or on the plane yeah. sometimes there's a guy yes. who is or like the bar there's always a guy who's there and you like you're not trying to have a conversation but you like look into eye contact yeah. and you're like Jesus that guy's looking at me and he's like I was from Michigan yeah. well I think our Rogers are different Gareth okay I think your Roger is looking for human connection and I think my Roger yeah, right. is drawing arbitrary lines in the sand and defending them. What, what Connor? What is your what is your gut? Do you you, I, you feel like it's more like the Jake thing where he's kind of just trying to dominate a space? He, yes, he's or, trying to be the alpha. Or is he looking for or human? Is there, connection? Or is there a little sadness under this? Yeah, where are we at? And then we can go forward. At first, I was fell for that. I thought it was a little bit of sadness. But now I firmly believe it is about marking territory yeah. and that he is trying All to right. so we gotta so, outweigh me. So right. I'm going to just make a claim on this call. And this is now more to my friend, Gareth. You're projected, my king. There is a sadness. Let's step away from it. <laughs> title. <laughs> uh, but title for a different call. And that's when you call in. Uh, but which this will is be not, great. But this is not this call. Okay. Let me ask you this. Uh, does he drink? Good question. No. Do you drink? Yes. 24 um, year old in I mean, Southwest Florida. He, when you say, uh, I mean, uh, like, you mean like, you know, like Jaeger or like 100 million beers? Or like, I don't like drink right now. Do you like to party? Yes. Not you. <laughs> yeah. Do you, Connor? Yeah. Yes, yeah. he does. I, I would yeah. start. I, yeah. Listen. I mean, like, party like right now? I think yeah. there's like, cocaine right now. I'll do a bump. <laughs> I think there is some leverage here to maybe if you make the common space a little bit of. I, also, do you have friends out there? They no, He's just they're all an coming down eventually. But okay, yet. I would start adding a little bit of party to the mix in the common room. But we also don't want to fuck up Cindy. But Cindy's we no, listen. But Cindy Cindy's matters. Co she's collateral to me. Okay, you got to shoot the hostage. Sorry, Cindy. <laughs> You're in the bedroom. You're hanging out like a weird cat. You got your litter box in there. Yeah. I, I have a feeling she's pissing in jars. I I think Again, Cindy's okay. you're projecting. I've pissed in a lot of jars. <laughs> I think maybe you bring a bottle of 151 out there <laughs> one night and you start bringing the hammer down a little bit. I feel like that's going to maybe, that might counteract or throw some sand on the Roger energy. Okay. So the another thing you could do here, Connor, is smoke them out. And I don't mean with actual smoke. It's just the idea of making the common space less comfortable. Yeah. So you figure out what Roger likes about that common space and you take it away. So one of the things, if he likes sitting there listening to his TikTok, well, you're in the kitchen listening to your phone even louder. So like if I go to a restaurant by myself, which I like to do, and some fucking asshole has their phone without headphones yes, and they're watching the their- It's insane. I hate it. Insane. But what I now do, and I'll tell you a real story that just happened the other day. Uh, I was with Eric Edelstein. Okay. We were walking down by the Arroyo having a pleasant time. Quiet, nice mm -hmm. kind of rainy day, just loving it. Some fucking asshole on the hike behind us has his music crazy. playing on a speaker. So I hear this guy from 300 feet behind me. So Eric goes, brother, let's be mature. Well, I chose not to. I, chose <laughs> I choose to, not to I be. choose to smoke him out. And you know what I did? I turned my phone volume as loud as it can get. So when he was near us, we were in a, a world cacophony. of chaos. Yes. And what I was saying is like, Hey, asshole, we can all ruin a They're common really space. really in this society we have. The auditory it's privacy madness. is absolutely Headphones insane. are the best. We all have Absolutely. Them. So what I, I like that a lot. What I would do is there's a version of you smoke him out. So one is, you know, Roger to Roger and you imitate him. Smoke him out means you're in there while he's in there. If he's talking to you, you're playing music. You're playing whatever you want to listen to. Yep. You're on the phone with a friend talking at full volume. Ooh, FaceTiming with someone full oh. volume is good yes full engagement in another world you could feign obliviousness very well and w so and then you've got the shoot the hostage and that is turn the center into a party 
When you're hearing these ideas of the idea of party, I've got two more. Go. Um, okay. What about working out? Do you work out? Yeah. Now you do it in the common oh, room. You, I it's remember a you very, used to do this, the PX90. Yes, I used to do the P90X. P90X. And let me tell you, nothing alienates others. Yeah. Neighbors, <clears throat> there can be walls. If you do that in the common area, that's going to make him feel very, yeah. very strange. But then I also have the Hail Mary. And this is where I'm talking about some ally forces. Okay. I think you go to Cindy. And you let Cindy know Fuck that yes. Roger has moved his troops way too far into this area. And you are worried about annexation. I'm getting too deep into it. And now you and Cindy want to have dinner in the common space. Try to make Roger feel like the third wheel a little bit and see if that'll put the gopher back in the hole. Okay. That's okay. interesting. So, so you go to Cindy and you go, look, I, I understand you like your privacy. I like my privacy. I feel like Roger's gotten way too comfortable. Yeah. I think for a little bit, if you and I can do a couple things out there, I'll buy us some noodles. We yeah. sit out there. We hang out. We have a gab. I think that'll make Roger feel like the third wheel yeah. and maybe he'll go home. So obviously bit. that has a big win, big danger zone. I can see it from Cindy's mm, point of view. Yeah. You might have to start sleeping with Cindy, but I think for me, that's <laughs> worth it. It's a different show. It doesn't go to NBC, but we could still sell it. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, of course. So, Connor, you got Roger to Roger, where you essentially do an impression of Roger to Roger nonstop. When he's doing laundry, you're doing laundry. When he's telling a story, you're telling a story. When he's watching TikTok, you're watching TikTok, to the point of he goes like, this fucking kid's driving me nuts. Yes. And he's driving me so nuts, the only way to get away from him is go to my room. Yep. The other one is smoke him out with noises, FaceTiming, music. Uh, you're in his space while he is. Third, shoot the hostage. You literally bring a, a bottle of booze, party your fucking ass off. You're going through a dark time. And he's got to feel that. And <laughs> Bad guess what? news at work. And guess what? Get a decanter. Yep. Cindy's going to pay the price too for that one. Yep. But you are now exploding the dynamic of the apartment to get him and Cindy out and start over. Four is the workout. You just start doing your sweaty, gross workouts in the common space. Be the grunty guy. Be the grunty guy. Uh, yes. Two more, Connor. Yes. And you're in shorts and t-shirts and you're laying on a yoga mat on the floor yes. and he hates it. Yep. Five is connect with Cindy and t turn him into the third wheel. Connor, back to you, our 24-year-old friend who is still wet behind the ears the world's starting your life. What are you going to do, young man? You gave a lot of good options there, fellas. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Why I'm do I feel like he's a judge? <laughs> <laughs> you both no, present pretty good arguments. I like, I'm leaning towards smoke him out. Interesting. Okay. I feel that sets a tone. Yep. It gives you like a little bit of fire, fire, fire versus fire. Yep. And I'm not putting Cindy in the middle of harm's way. Right. I respect this. I do, too. Yeah. So you're going for an old smoke them out, but yep. you're being sensitive to Cindy as you smoke them out. If she's not in the house, things get weird. If she is, you walk away. I think that's right. If it escalates, I think I go with the Hail Mary option and I try to team up with Cindy. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Dinner. You want to get to know her, so but you, I think that's right. I so think you're that's a good starting point. smoke them out. And if it goes sideways, you're having a great talk with Cindy and saying, yep. the reason I'm doing this is because of this. Do you want to team up? Yep. And if she says no, you leave. Yep. Yeah. And then you, you yeah. cut ties. There's Airbnb has a lot of different places. Yes. I can see, like, Cindy has dropped little hints here and there in the two times I've seen her mm. that Roger is not her type of guy. Oh, Ooh, I think you, good. you got that play if you need it for sure. Yeah, That's good on, to know. Hold on to that because in World War One, the way to win is you got to get more countries as allies. Yes. Yes. But the first thing you do is you run right for that line and you try to knock them on their goddamn ass and get them fucking backtrack and move the line into their territory. I think that's, I think it's good. I think both, I, I think they work in conjunction well too, you know? I do too. And Connor, when you say you like to party, what's a party for you? What are you drinking? Walk yeah. us through a little bit of that evening really fast before we get out of here. <laughs> no, it's a lame type of party, I'll tell you that. Well, let's it's hear nothing. what it is. What does that mean? What's that? It's just like, Go out on a weekend, have a few, one, two, three, something like that. By Here's the way, a few beers. And what kind of beers are we drinking? One, two, three, a couple of shots, one, two, three. Shots ever? <laughs> yeah, then not. Um, what it was it? Probably like Coronas. Corona's maybe, maybe a shot or two or no? One, two, three, tequila. Uh, 
not, not you as make many eye contact really. with a guy across the bar who's got a stuffed parrot on his shoulder and he holds one nostril shut and gives you a wink. Do you meet him in the bathroom or one, two, three or no? <laughs> you see a guy. One, two, three, no, I don't. Uh, okay, Connor, not, you see not. a guy at the bar. He's wearing a vest. He looks like he's a mannequin Connor, thanks from for Ross Dress for Less. Thanks for the call, Connor. Do you walk up or do you run? <laughs> <laughs> you hug him. Bye, Connor. Bye, Connor. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by another food place because we are true fat boys. We like to eat over here. Because <laughs> you have to well, say. We gotta help. Yeah, no, but you've got to say when you're saying yes to an ad, is this something you like? And it's all becoming food. It's great. <laughs> it's great. Look. This, this, this is, is embarrassing. A show. This is a weight game. This is a weight game podcast. This is a weight game podcast. Factor is truly amazing. Um, look, it's eating better uh, with Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals. They get delivered to your house. They're not so frozen easy. meals. It's easy. Uh, you can cook them in the oven. You can cook them in the microwave. They can be ready in just two minutes. They have so many options. You got pancakes. You got smoothies, and you got more. Yes, they and they got wellness shots and all that stuff. I'm a vegetarian, so I eat. Uh, it's Are you a full veggie? Yeah, pretty much. Every yeah. now and then, I'll mix in a little bit of the protein. Look, my doctor no, said I had to. There's no pr really. Yeah, yeah. What do you have? Cholesterol? Yeah, no, no. He was like, he was oh, like, mix in the protein. Yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, okay, no, he doesn't yeah, inject yeah. it in if that's what you thought. Uh, but look, Factor delivers meals. It's super easy around your schedule. It's the perfect solution if you're looking for fast premium options with no cooking required. Just sign up and save. So head to factormeals.com slash Gil sent me five zero and use code Gil sent me 50 to get 50% off. That's code Gil sent me 50 at factor dot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Gil sent me 50 at factormeals.com slash Gil sent me 50 to get 50% off. Come on, everybody. Join Factor. I eat him in the garage. Jake's my buddy. I don't like Gareth. Let's do it. Hello? Hello. Caller, are you there? Yes, I am. Well, God bless you. Welcome to We're Here to Help. You're on with Jake Johnson and Gareth Reynolds, and we're excited to help. Can we get your name? your age, where you're calling from, and then we'll get into solving this crisis. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Jamie. I'm 37, and I'm calling from Phoenix. Nice. You know, I just was in Phoenix. Yeah. I'm a big Arizona oh. guy. I'm not. Uh, but congratulations to you guys on liking it. Um, Grand Canyon. That's, well done, Jake. Uh, <laughs> it's, like, it's like hanging out with a map. <laughs> It's embarrassing because I was bragging. <laughs> Jamie, go ahead. Um, so my issue is um, I recently moved in with my boyfriend. Okay. And everything's going great. Sure. Except for one thing. Uh-oh. He never farts. Oh, uh, he's a never farter. And he's a yeah, never farter. Well, I, and I, I in got, turn... I got, bad, I got a, something to reveal to you about science. He does. Yeah. Just doesn't do it in front of you. You know... Oh, well, I'll, I'll get into this after. Okay, so okay. that's... And, okay, keep going. But where are you at, Jamie? Because of that, I never fart. Yep. I'm, you know, trying to be polite and be like, well, if he doesn't do it, yep. I shouldn't do it. And now that we're living together, it's like, oh, can we just start farting around each other? So you want the fart I need, Yeah, I need your help. How do I break mm. the ice so I can break wind? Break, well, oh, this is interesting. So This is a good one. Yeah, so it's less of our opinion of what is right and wrong, Garf. Because yeah. we are on Jamie's side. Yeah. So what Jamie, what you <laughs> but, want. But we're allowed to express our personal friends, opinions we're friends a little bit. Her. Yeah. We're yeah. So Jamie, you want to start opening up the world of farting in front of your boyfriend. Yeah. Like, I don't need to be a 20-year-old frat boy, but just casually That's what I was gonna like, but, let it. Ask, are, yeah. you a, are you a gassy individual? No. I wouldn't no. think so. What, what's, what's his boyfriend's name? Just so we can put a, a name to the face. This anti-farter. Um, it's Judge. Judge is his perfect. name. Yep. Is that a, if that's well, a real name, this is perfect. Of course he's yeah. Of course he's of course he's like <laughs> got an opinion about yeah. farts. He's a judge. And so yeah. you want to know how to be able to fart in front of Judge so that you can break the dam. And this could not be a thing where your old frat buddies on the couch. But if you gotta cut yeah, it, you you're not just doing the it. pull my finger stuff. Yeah. And what are you doing now if you have to fart? You just go in the other room. I'll you... tell you. I I let me answer that question yeah. for you, Jamie. Yeah, you are sitting there uh with uh, in pain hmm. and uh the pain is starting to get worse 
Yeah. And uh, as you're sitting there, you're going, oh, God damn it, why won't Judge just fart? <laughs> and you're just sitting there, you're holding it in. And every now and then, you give a little test fart, and you let out a little to see, is it okay? And yeah. you're like, oh, it's not okay. And then you're going to the bathroom, you're sitting down on the toilet, and you're farting there. Is this accurate, Correct. Jamie? That's you got it. Yeah. Is this what you're going through currently in your life, Eric? No, no. I'm just, yes. I, I, that I'm, was a, I'm wildly I'm a, detailed. I'm, I am a scientist. So I'm just doing the science <laughs> part. Um, I, Steve Berg, a uh, friend of show, used to refer to this as Shacker's gas, which is even better with a lisp because it's Shacker's gas, uh, where he would be, when he met his wife, he would go to his wife's house. And he would be hanging out there. And Steve is a frat boy. Yes. So when it was, he would be sitting there and he would be holding in this, this, this yeah. gas and he would get to his car. And then he talked about the big <laughs> reveal when he'd sit in his car and just <laughs> let it rip yeah. for 15 minutes. There's a great commercial from, I think, the 90s or 2000s where somebody finishes a date, says goodbye. Megan Mullally is in this. And yes. then blows a huge fart and like, the other couples in the back seat. Are oh, okay. oh! I thought of this. I was thinking of a different one. Okay. Um, so, Jamie, question for you: How's the romance yes. between you and Judge? You guys got a nice it's thing great. cooking. It is. How yeah. long have you been together? Uh, six years. Oh so, wow! And so, you guys wow. are living. When did you start living together? Just recently, in the uh, last two months. Okay, and in the last two months of living together, has the sex life gotten better, or worse, the same? The same. Okay. Have you have you ever farted in front of him? Yeah, little little. Uh, He's heard it here and there. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, Jamie, Jamie, let me ask you a question here, honey. <laughs> this is a uh, Columbo voice, just so you know. Mixed with my dad. <laughs> Mixed with Croco. It's Croc. It's Colum Croco. I'm not great at voices that aren't my dad. <laughs> uh, here, here's my question for you. Why do you want this? Want what, Croco? You just, got a wonderful just to make thing. It more with comfortable. But com it's but also what's comfortable is you guys have this nice dynamic. It's working. Jake, yeah. you remind me all the time we're uh, on her side. We've got to solve her problem. But because as her I'll friend in the bar, I'm saying, here's because let me pitch you a road, Jamie. Let me can I pitch you a road? Sure. Might be wrong, but I'm just pitching, okay? You're sitting with him. What, what show do you like to watch? What's a show you guys are into right now? Whatever it is, turn it up real loud. Uh, Young Sheldon. Me too. I'm <laughs> fucking watching it. Wallace Shawn having a nervous breakdown. What a turn. I'm watching it. My kids like it. Uh, so <laughs> you're watching Young Sheldon on Netflix. It's doing huge numbers. Okay. Huge. It's All making right. suits look like a fucking dog shit show on TBS. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're watching Young Sheldon. The family's being funny. You're getting some laughs. You're feeling a little gassy. Judge has his arm loosely around you. You're wearing kind of like a sweat outfit. The vibe is good. There's a 30% chance this night's going to end with some romance. You ate maybe a little fettuccine Alfredo and something's not feeling perfect, but not terrible. <laughs> you're not going to like, yeah. you know, you're not going to ruin the night, but you're like, ooh, there's a little pain. So what you could do is walk to the other room and get rid of that disgusting gas. Or what you're saying is, is in the middle of, you know, young Sheldon saying something about science and uh, space. You want to lift up your leg in front of Judge and just go. Bow. She's not and lifting the leg up. Let's be if fair. If it's big enough. So you go. Bow. I don't think that's a gnarly works, okay. smell hits the air. Judge goes, that's disgusting. It makes me want to barf. And you go in 45 minutes. You want to see where that came from? Yeah. Less so. <laughs> less so. It, it, here, here's, <laughs> here's the problem with what Jake's saying is. <laughs> It's not wrong. No. It it it's a, it, and I think I I think like again each couple comes to their terms and agreements yes. in some way. Uh, but yeah, but like the, but Garf, the idea of romance is to trick one another with this endorphin rush that we are not but, animals. But also that you're talking about a relation. They're living together, so we're on the path. Yeah. To it's is it sustainable for yes. her to always go in like to Jamie, have a fart is it closet? sustainable to always have an other area where you guys and look if it sneaks out it sneaks out or is this for you is this a deal breaker it's not a deal breaker but it would just be nice not to have to so then worry about it okay, okay so here's where we're at we're gonna get you how do you do it garf what's your way of how she can fart in front of judge to break the ice and make this not taboo okay i gotta i honestly think yeah you might just want to do a conversation with him and just say, I've never heard you fart. Do you fart? 
Yeah. Ask him that. See what he <laughs> says, because then you're going to kind of get his philosophy behind this. How does he feel about it? I think that's better than let's throw him into the deep end of this. I got. I'm going to pitch that. Uh, okay. I love. I'm very excited for Jake's pitch, but I think that maybe you could get behind it a little bit because, yeah, I like. I don't disagree with what Jake's saying. It's kind of like this. You come to these turn like some couples. There's this whole thing online now. Have you seen this? This fucking. I'm like. How, what the fuck is going on? Called guess my fart. No. Okay. It's where people. So it's horrible. Disgusting. It's where people will guess what a fart will sound like, and then they fart, and then you see if it's Gross. like that. It's Gross. horrible. So, <laughs> cut that. <laughs> I knew he was going to say cut that because my all of a sudden I haven't eaten anything today. I felt like I was going to barf. So Jenny, no, you just let it out. Um, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> The perfect example. You know, if somebody uh, has like uh, uh, got a barf, should I just have a bucket in front of my loved one? It ones? is a good point. That, Agreed. Like, the we, line. But where we, is the line? Here's the, what like, we you're allow. Not, you're not going to like crap in the living no, room. No, if you go, or you go like, she's in the shower and you go like, I'm having explosive diarrhea. Leave it open. Why? Because tonight we're getting a hotel let room. Let me ask you this. right now I'm let me ask, spraying mess. Let me ask you this. Gross. In private. Title. Um, uh, <laughs> let me ask you this. Please. As far as like, Going number two. Yeah. Do you find that less gross than no. farting? See, to me, I find that weird. I'm like, okay, I'm like, oh, go do that. We've got a room for it. Yeah, but no, I mean, but what if you were in the room? I would not allow it. Agreed. So you wouldn't be like brushing your teeth after sex and she's like, hey, and you're like, and she's like, I gotta take a dump. And you go like this, girl, just do it. Because yeah. it's gross. Yes. So, but you're okay to go like, we're watching young I Sheldon having laughs there's... and she goes, you like, you didn't want to see the meal. How's an appetizer? Because I'll tell you what you're smelling is what's about food. to be in the toilet. Yeah. I, I do. I think because there's a room. That's why I'm like, all right, go in there. So we got if a you're room. rich enough, build a fart room. Uh, well, listen, so you got he, that new girl money. You got a fart room? <laughs> uh, we didn't do great with residuals. <laughs> I love the idea with the construction guy. Like, Dad, we're going to obviously, yeah. this is the closet so where you want to have all your yeah. suits. This is the fart yeah, room. No, he would go like this. Uh, okay, so you're talking about something off the living room that's four by four? Four by four, yeah. My wife and I are looking to and, have a room. And you want a we... you want a skylight at the top, but you can press a button and it opens to the air. Yeah, just a way to kind of get new air circulating in here. As you got, what are you going to put in here? A little stove? Uh no, but there will be heat. Uh, it, it's <laughs> so, so not Jamie, like that. So here is the other pitch. You can have a conversation. I think that works. The other move is this: you tell him one night you want to do something where you do a living room camping. You set up a tiny two-person tent. And you say, I read some article that's really cute about couples when they live together. They should stay in a tent all night. And the only time they leave is it's a bathroom emergency. But the other one has to go with them as if they're in a danger zone. All the lights are off. No electricity, no technology. And he goes like, all right. And you go, but it'll be a lot of fun. We can like have alcohol in there or weed, whatever you guys do. And he's like, fun. And what you cook is things that create gas. Oh my so Lord. what you're doing, and you're not eating it, but you're putting his body into a pressure situation. So he goes, you know, honey, I got to get out. And you go, why, Judge? And he goes, I just need to take a walk. And you go, what's going on? And make him say, I have a stomach ache. I have to fart and go, I would like you to do it in front of me so that he's the first with just disgusting, sick farts. And you go, I'm good with this. Let's not make it a regular thing. But if one of us has to, it's never going to be as bad as this. I, I like parts of this. So that's an option. We've yeah. got that. Here's what I would maybe do. I like the idea of teeing him up to have bad gas. Yeah. So we just kind of get our cards out on the table. So I think, yeah, you cook a lentils. Yes. You have a lentils Beans and chili everything. night, whatever you want to do. And Maybe you watch what you're eating. There's okay. also, you take, can take like an anti-gas pill or something like that. That's what you do. You take that, and so you're just leaving him with you gas You just make pains. this motherfucker pop. Then you're watching a little young Title. Sheldon. You got your head on his stomach, yeah. and as your head's on his stomach, you're, you're definitely moving around a little. If For you're sure. hearing the tummy bubbles, yeah. you, you just tee him up so that he has to either sh fart or get off the pot. Yes. Hey, Jamie, is this, are we anywhere near something you would consider? Yeah, I would I would consider that. I could I could cook something that makes him explode. And yep. maybe take a gas thing before. Yep. And then when you're yeah. watching TV and he goes in the other room, you need to do something really weird and you need to follow him. And then if he goes to okay. the bathroom, start a conversation and have him go, just give me a second, hon. And you go, no, I'll just stand out here. And when he sits down, he goes, just give me a little space. And you go, 
Well, I just want to keep telling you about the young Sheldon because they're thinking of moving to Oklahoma for the dad's job of getting becoming a football coach. But And he goes, okay. I just need a second. Keep talking until he finally goes like, <laughs> and then you go, whoa, judge. Sorry about those lentils. And he goes, I don't like this, Jamie. <laughs> And you go, oh my I, God. You're Jeff, cutting dude. out what I said earlier, but this is staying. <laughs> we admit it. There's two sets of rules. It's unfair to you. Uh, I I like I, one more pitch. Okay. One more pitch is to okay. look, Judge is a human. He's going number two. We know that. Yeah. At some point when you feel like he's gone number two, walk in there and just give a smell comment. See Ooh. if that kind of gives a little, like, loosens up what his hold is. Ask him, like, if he comes back in the living room, say, like, light a match because it's following you out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just say, after yeah. he's gone for a while, say, mm. I got to go pee. And then go in there and come out and be like, I had to hold my breath for a while. That's not bad because then you could say, like, what did you eat, killer? And give him the idea that I know these smells are within you that are yeah. disgusting. So here's where we're at. We got three pitches for you, uh, Jamie. Straight up conversation okay. starter. Uh, which is just you're talking about it and saying, where are you at with the idea of farting in front of each other? Two, cook him foods that are going to make him pop and you cheat and do a pill before and then don't let him out of your sight. And if he says, I'm taking a run, put your fucking newbies on and run with him. He is not escaping <laughs> until he pops. And when put on he your pops, infrareds. Yeah, and then you do one of those like, whoa, that was a big one. Three, after he goes to the bathroom, do an exaggerated, yeah, open a window. On the night where you poison him with the lentils, I also would pitch maybe we do a sit-up contest at some point before <laughs> Young Sheldon. So where are you at with this advice? Is any of this real to you? Would you actually do it? Let's get back to planet Earth. Yeah, I, you know, I like number two. I, I well, want to hear irony. it. I want to make sure he's human. Okay, so then uh, we would love um, to get updates the night, if you don't mind. Uh, we could get sure. you in can touch we send with her, Can we send Caitlin to, over to your house to <laughs> sort of monitor the situation? But what we're going to do on this one, if you don't <laughs> mind, the night that you do it, could you reach out to the show a little bit and tell us what you're cooking? Yes. And give us a live up-to-date of how it's going? Yes. So that we can Absolutely. be part of this? Because this is almost like the birth of a new relationship. Yes. And so, like on the New Year's Eve, when the ball drops, it's a big moment. Yes. When judges ball drops interesting it's a new year yes yep i think i think Perfect. it's right it's a rebirth in the sense that we're spitting something out of a canal that wasn't looking to come out well it was looking to come out, <laughs> just not in front of her correct so jamie are you you're gonna actually do this yeah i'm gonna do it jamie good luck to you and the judge thank you heart thank goes you. out to judge he's gonna have a rough night yeah but a nice <laughs> relief yep that's right thank you thank you this episode is brought to you by Hero Bread and Flour Tortillas. This Garf Man has zero net carbs. Yes. 80 calories. It's high in fiber. It's got zero sugar and it's seven crazy. grams of protein. And I've had these. Which is crazy, it's too. It's crazy, actually. It actually tastes good. The problem with the old ones is they taste like trash and everybody knows it. Yes. And the key high bread. To, the key to uh, food uh, that's making you lose weight, because yes. that's what this is all about. Yes. Well, you're not eating these as like a pack of vitamins. Yes. You want to eat a quesadilla, but you don't want to be a 300 pounder well, eating a quesadilla you're getting protein. because you're trying to get on television. So, so you want to like get stuff from your food. Yes. If you're getting seven grams of protein on 80 calories, that's not bad. It's pretty good, especially for bread. But rather than go down the road of getting a protein bar at a gas station, yes. that you go like, well, the protein sugar is good, but you're actually just eating a candy bar. Yes. Get this in a slice of turkey, roll yeah. it up. Boom. Boom. Easy. Why done. don't you take this on the goddamn I road? I am taking with it you. on the road, and Are I don't you? like your tone. Look How at about you. that? You're so sensitive. I don't feel good. <laughs> um, uh, listen, we love Hero Bread. Uh, like Jake said, there's tortillas, there's bread. It's good you stuff. can make your favorites. You can make burritos, enchiladas. Uh, I love. Uh, we love Hero Bread's texture, all that stuff. Like I said, the nutrition is there. It's just way better if you're into eating bread, which everyone is. Uh, zero, uh, zero to one grams of net carbs, zero sugar. Like Jake said, all that stuff. So listen, what we need you to do is not give up on being a bread. Head. Hero Bread is offering 10% off your order. Go to hero.co and use code H E L P at checkout. That's H E L P at H E R O dot C O. Hero Bread. Be a breadhead. Be a gilly bean. Join us. <laughs> oh. 
Hello. Hello there. This is Luke. Luke. So Luke, this is uh, a follow-up, but we don't know uh, which follow-up it is. Only Kevin does, and neither does our audience. Can you walk us through what your first call was? Sure. Uh, just a little while ago, my first call was uh, on the matter of the Rubik's Cube. Oh, oh yes. Hey, Luke, yeah. what's your time, baby? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, it, I, I have gotten, uh, you know, I've hit that goal that we you did. Set. Yeah. What was, uh, what was the did... goal? It was like 19 seconds. Oh, it I was, thought it was, it was to 20, knock it late. less than 20 seconds. Yes. Watch this okay. boys. Wait, well, we got a video. Oh, hold shit. on, hold on, Luke. Do you have a problem that you could use a hand with? Why not call Jake Johnson and Gareth Reynolds on We're Here to Help. It's an advice podcast where the advice is free and it feels free too. I needed a hand with my cube here. Did they help? Sure, as far as you know. You should listen. That's We're Here to Help. Wherever you get your podcasts. That is absolutely crazy. Luke, that's awesome. And Gareth is wrong. You do that in a bar. It's cool. Gareth, admit it now that you've seen it. Floor is yours, Garf. Uh, Luke, listen, I'll be honest. A guy like me doesn't have much. I got a few puns, and maybe I could sling a joke here or there. And what Jake's saying is true. It's you cool. would best me in any singles cool. bar situation without question. Luke, you, you, you got man, voices that's cool. too. You do voices. I think, <laughs> Luke, don't try to help. It's actually hurting, to be quite honest. <laughs> so, Luke, walk us through where you're at. You got the time. Where are you at? You were. The question was uh, about the community and where you could do it. Correct. What was your exact question? That's right. That's right. So I was saying, what do I do with this now? Uh, yes. How fast do I want to get? Now I'm thinking yes. um, maybe the approach it shouldn't be how fast can I get? Because that's kind of plain, kind of boring. Here I can, I can do it while like promoting your podcast. Yeah. Maybe there's yes. some other weird thing I can do while solving a Rubik's Cube that would be more interesting. I think that is That's exactly right. And you That's know what I think you could Can we see? steal yeah. what you said as advice we're giving you? Yes. <laughs> Jake, why sure. don't you just say it? So here's what I would recommend, Luke. I would really rather, rather than keep pushing your time because 19 is a great time, great I would time. start a cameo and I would do cameos to people while Ooh. solving the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cameo. Wait. Hmm. You know what we could also do? What if we, Luke, you want to do an ad for uh, our show while doing a Rubik's Cube? Is that even I mean, going to help us, Kevin? <laughs> well, we it, that's, that's kind of what was Kevin. happening with that video clip. Well, we're talking about a sponsor. Literally ad. like rocket money. We, we might bring like Hero Bread, bread on board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, Squarespace is perfect. The <laughs> ads, the ads need to be a certain length, and I think he would have to do a couple of Rubik's Cubes. But um, yeah. wait, can, wait, can we do something? Are you? Do you have video capability right now? Is this you? Is this you in the waiting room as well, Luke? It, it is. Just in case, I joined a second. So there. why don't we do Classic this cubist. as an idea? So Classic this, cubist. Kevin, I don't think we need to cut this out. This will be in yep. the follow up as is. Yeah, uh, and then we can sh we can also do the ad at a later time. So, uh, Luke, I got a question for you. Do you sure. want to, as a fun thing, we will start an ad, and in the middle, I'll say. We don't have much more time in this ad, maybe under 20 seconds. Luke, do you mind coming in and solving a Rubik's Cube as we finish this ad? And then you just do the cube. We'll say hi to you really fast. And then you do the sure. cube as we're doing it. And you could feel free to talk to while you're doing it. And when you're done, we end the ad. That sounds awesome. What's, what would my cut be? Your cut All right, be... have a good day, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for calling in, buddy. I'm good just, to talk I'm just to you. joking. Good I'm just joking. <laughs> Pro bono, it's fine. Wait, no, here's what your cut's going to be. What's your, let, what's create a, a cameo for you right now? I, I really hadn't considered cameo. Why not? Do you want to do that? Of course he does. Sure, why not? If you don't want to do it, okay, don't do it. I think, how about, I think it's good, worth trying. How about uh, here to help? No, how about yeah. Rubik's Luke? Rubik's Luke. Luke? Rubik's Luke? How do you like that? It all sounds wonderful. You tell us, Luke, because we're, are you going to do camera? Because then what we're going to do in the ad is we're going to push it to you. And, you know, it'll be a really funny follow up if you're like, I made $8,000. guys. Yeah, because then we talk cuts. <laughs> then we're talking cuts. But what do you think of Rubik's Luke? 
Sure. If it's available, then I, I would go for it. I am okay, going to say so it's available. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're going to do, Ru Rubik's Luke. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start an ad. Let's get you on video with us. Oh, there, there's all those beautiful faces. I love it. Hey, there it he is. Hey, Rubik's <laughs> Luke from Cameo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Rubik's Luke. I just okay. need to mute. There you go. There, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Kevin. did it. Okay, great. All right. Okay, all right, so Luke. Here we go. Or, you know, we could also do, we could see how many times you, wait, after you solve it, do you have to resolve it? You got to mix it up. I got to rescramble, yeah. How long does it talk, take to rescramble? Uh, another couple of seconds. Do okay. you want to see how many times you can solve it in an ad? That that's sounds a good idea. doable. Is that a yeah. more fun game? I, yeah, oh, I think that's great. maybe better. Okay, so then, let's then do us that. in complete silence at the end of an ad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you got it. <laughs> so this will just be. You'll have to times. take our word for it. And then Kevin in post, can we just make sure John, every time he solves it, put a one over his thing and a two? And yeah, actually, yeah. why don't we do this, Luke? Why yeah. don't you let us know when you solve it? <laughs> yeah. So just one, go. Two, that's three. one. Solve. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, that's one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Do we want Gil doing this ad? No. Let's do it. Okay. As Gil All right. Here we go. All right. Ready? Yeah. All right, you started, Jake. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace, Jake. And to get today, we actually have Luke helping us. He's doing the Rubik's Cube during the ad. We're going to see how many times he can well, solve it. You mean another... Luke from Cameo, Rubik's Luke. Uh, Rubik's -U Luke. B I X Luke. Rubik's Luke. That's right. And Luke, I, and you, Jake, are huge fans of Squarespace. Now, look, we know what Squarespace is, we talk about it all the time. We yes. love Squares. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. My website is through Squarespace. I've been yeah. the whole time. As I I've like had a to website. say, Gareth, uh, Squarespace is so easy. It's like Luke doing the Rubik's Cube. Now, whether you're just starting out or you're managing growing a brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website. Easy way to engage with your audience, sell anything from products to content to time, all in one place. That's they right. have great design features like Fluid Engine, which is a next generation website design system. Custom merch, easily yeah, sell and, and your look, custom and merch. It's, it's very easy to start a website. It might not be 19 seconds like it is for Rubik's Luke to solve the Rubik's Cube or no, maybe a little bit more not, during this ad. because Again, anxiety. well, I like to say it's as easy as solving a Rubik's Cube if you're Rubik's Luke. You can also make an online store. So look, there's tons of stuff you can do. It, 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 Squarespace is fantastic. So do us a favor. Uh, I'm going to bring Gil in for this. Do you, you get one, Luke? No. I, I slip, slight slip. So I'm slight slip. Going. Okay. Keep going. We're on one Wait, and a half. Which is not something you're going to do while you're creating your own website. Oh, that's absolutely right, Jake. Hand the baton to a professional. Listen, 48 years of broadcasting, and it shows. Head to www.squarespace.com slash Gil sent me to save 10% off your first purchaser website design Head to www.squarespace.com. Who are you, Rubik's Luke? Stop it now. All right, here <laughs> we go, everybody. Both of you guys are having Three, performance two, anxiety. One. Uh, listen, Luke is only down one, but that's okay. Head to Where are you? Hold on. Where are you at, Luke? Is that two? It was head, another slip right at the end. Head, head to same www. With, same with head, Gilly. Head, come on now. I only had one slip. Three, two, one. Back to Gil. Ones and twos. Head to www.squarespace.com. Slash Gil sent me to save 10%. 10% off your first purchase of a website design using the code Gil sent me. That's squarespace.com slash Gil sent me to save 10%. Luke, where you at? Uh, another like 10 seconds, maybe <laughs> I'll have one. Give it, All right, give so the one more time. That's www.squarespace.com. <laughs> and Did don't I say forget that slash. Seconds? Slash Gil sent me. And if you want a cameo that's longer than 19 seconds, go to Rubik's Luke. He will suck. Two. Two. Thank you much, everybody. Right. Way to go, Luke. Thanks, Luke, Luke. You're the best. Luke, that is crazy. You're the impressive. best. You're, listen, I know you said you just had performance <laughs> don't be anxiety. Mad. You did what Jake and I couldn't do in two years. Yeah, in don't two be minutes. Mad. And here's the so. thing, Luke. We'll have you on for more ads. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The listeners can view your but, your growth. Yeah, but now, Luke, now remember you were saying, what do I do with this skill set? Now we have a game. Can you solve it twice in a minute with the pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Now you've got a game. Enough uh, a practice, enough takes, and I can get yes. it down like I did in that clip. 
Yes. But I think on the spot like that, it was a little trickier. So, but, but Luke, remember you were asking, what do I do with this wild skill set? Do I take it to bars? And we didn't have an answer. The game is now, how do you put yourself in pressure situations to try to do it? Because we're going to bring you back on now. Yeah. So now if you're in, <laughs> if you wanted a skill set, the skill set is going to be doing this on one take fast. Cause in cameo, we want you doing it. We don't want you doing 10 takes the game of it's going to be, how can you do this as fast as possible while the bright lights are on? Luke, this was day one of a new mission. I love it. I'll be a little less caffeinated less next time. <laughs> I love it. That's your adjustment. Luke, thank you very much for the call. We Thanks, appreciate Luke. it. And let's Congrats. honestly uh, email us. Email Kevin when you want round two. Whenever you're ready, we'll have you on. Sounds fun. Love it. Thanks, thank buddy. You, buddy. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for watching us on YouTube. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of this quality content. Ring, ring. Here to help. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Damn. I'm kind of Cut. That was a HeadGum Podcast.